All right, guys, welcome back. We have our word. We need to get these letters so that we can work with it in Photoshop. We're going to have to make sure that each of these individual letters is saved as, as its own image file. So we will do all of this um, in one document, and then we will save um, each letter. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. First of all, we have to create or use a selection tool. So you can use your marquee, but if I use my marquee, you guys will see it's going to kind of square off and it might get some of that W. So I don't want that. I'm going to Command D, deselect. That's not the right tool for this job. Um, I'm going to use the lasso tool. Um, it can be a little tricky if you're using a trackpad. A mouse is going to give you a little bit more control. Um, you can click or you can select L with your keyboard to engage that. And with the lasso tool, what I'm going to do is just trace around, and you won't see the lasso exactly itself until you finish the path. So I'm going to circle around, and you guys will know that as long as I get close to completing my path over here, I've got this little guy. So I've got my border, I've got my marquee, which is the technical term. Um, a lot of folks call it the dancing ants. You know, do with that what you will. Um, we're going to, here in your selection, I want you to right click um, or control click to get your menu. And we are going to do um, a layer via cut. Okay, you guys see that? Layer via cut. All right. And you guys will notice it deselects for me. Thank you, Photoshop. Um, over here, layer two. So if I turn layer one off, there's my A. So what this is doing, I'm going to hide layer two. You guys will notice that deleted from the main word. So what this is doing, this is, um, we could just do layer copy, but I did layer cut, so it would go on an individual layer, and then our word's going to disappear as we cut each individual word. Um, make sure that you save this as a new document so that you can have your, your original full word, just in case you need that again, um, and that you have the file with the, each individual letter, okay? Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do the, one more letter just so you guys understand how this works, and then I'm going to show you how to save each individual letter, okay? Um, first of all, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep um, my A turned off because that's going to actually make it easier for me to select the other letters because I don't have to select in between letters. I'm going to double click over here, I'm going to double click layer two so I can rename it. And I'm going to call that A for obvious reasons. Um, and then on layer two, I'm going to double click again and I'm going to call this um, word so that I know that that's my full word. And then I'm going to continue to um, build out my letters. All right. So here we go. Make sure that you are selected. I'm going to show you how to do this one more time. Um, with the W. So look here, make sure that you are in the word layer. Um, get your lasso tool, or it may already be selected. Um, click and drag, and this is where it's going to get a little tricky if your um, your words are super close together. So you might have to select very carefully. Click and drag. Around. All right. So I'm going to zoom in. And you can actually, on your keyboard, once you have your selection, if you want to use your arrows on your keyboard, you can move that over just a little bit. So I've got the top of that W, but I'm also not getting into my K. Okay, And again, you can zoom in further if you need to. But I'm getting everything. All right, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to right click and um, layer via cut. Okay, layer via cut. All right, so you guys will notice um, if I um, turn off my word layer, turn everything off so you guys can see what's happening there. Um, I have word, everything slowly disappearing. I have my W. One thing you guys may notice is that I've got a little bit of transparency going on in my W. So I'm going to show you how to correct that. Um, we are actually going to, I'm going to go up to um, undo layer cut and I'm going to deselect. So what I did is I stepped backwards so you can just edit um, undo there. All right, so I want to make sure that my W is still in my word. It is. 
because you guys noticed it had that little bit of transparency up here, um, why it did that is you want to pay very close attention when you have a selection tool because up here are your selection settings. Anytime you engage a selection tool, you'll see different settings. My lasso is actually f has a feather on it. And when a feather, um, when you feather something, that means whatever you select is going to have like a fuzzy edge around it. Okay. Um, I'm going to take that out and you have to make sure you so you um, set this before you select something. So I'm going to feather that zero. I don't want any feather. Um, no thank you on the feather today. And while I've got this zoomed in, I'm just going to click and drag again. So I want to show you guys, I like to show you guys the, um, you know, the trial and error of what can happen. So if it happens to you, you know how to get out of it. Click and drag. Go. All right. So as you guys notice, I am missing something there. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to arrow to the left. So I'm clicking my arrow on my keyboard. I'm going to arrow to the left just a little bit. So I don't want to get into that K. Um, but we can actually add to this selection. So if I go here, um, add to selection. And then I'm going to just select around my W. There we go. And now I'm going to right click layer via cut. And again, you guys will notice it created a new layer. I'm going to turn my base layer off, which is my word. There's my W. It's beautiful. It doesn't have that little halo um, from that feather anymore. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Um, now, I'm going to turn. I'm going to call this W. And whatever your word is, I suggest that you name your layers with a letter okay and how we're going to save these guys is once you once you get all of your letters you want to make sure which everything will disappear from the word layer um you are we're going to save this as a as a new um i remember a new document but i'm going to save file so you guys will notice i had the only thing i have turned on is the a okay file save as i'm going to say a png because i need it to be a png all right and then let's go see what happened with that where's my folder it's always good to make sure you have a folder to put everything in now one thing you guys will notice is it's taken on all that extra white space so let's open that it's going to be a little tedious. Yes, we're going to have to get all of these letters together first. Um, kind of a, a process, but I'm going to open that in Photoshop. And you guys notice this is the A layer. This is the only one I have in here. This is the A document I created. Just crop like we were doing earlier. There you go. And then just hit save to update your file and you can close that out all right so i'm going to let you guys go ahead um, and continue um, selecting and making those new layers okay um, so once you're done with that we can then take all of these letters into after effects